So we're going to start here. This is my Nespresso Virtuo Next. So if you guys follow me, you know that this was a birthday gift this year and I have wanted a Nespresso, specifically a Virtuo Next for ever. Like seriously, forever. I have my Ninja coffee bar that I've had for I think like a year, going on a year and a half now. Um, didn't get rid of her. I actually just kept them both. And I'm actually loving the fact that I have them zoom out. Like a little coffee bar. So both of them are housed. Ignore the cords. And I just have pretty much everything I need coffee-wise. Um, I need to buy some more coffee. <laughs> um, but I have everything on here. So let me just tell you. This chick right here has caused me so much stress. Legitimately, this is probably my this actually this unboxing right now is going to be my third virtuo. My third 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 one, okay? So I got rid of the tripod. I'm just going to hold it. So, here's the deal with her, okay? Beautiful rose gold everything and that is basically where it it pretty much ends um i kept getting the same error message just probably after this this is actually my second one the first one never worked so they had to send me another one um this is actually my second one so i i don't know what to tell you what was going on with that so uh, yeah this is my second one she worked beautifully for like I want to say a month and a half because I've been waiting for two weeks because of shipping and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the replacement for the first one that I originally purchased. So I was like, okay, maybe something's wrong with that one. And then this one. And so Nespresso customer service is very, very gracious. Um, they did was they were very honest. They did tell me that a lot of people have been complaining about the virtual next, which is this one. Um, the water tank, which is empty because I'm returning her, is empty. It is on the back of the machine. And I'm just gonna go this way. This was the problem, right? Because she's perfectly empty and dry and cleaned and everything else. This part right here like this spinning part, the part that makes your coffee actually, it kept giving me the error message that there were coffee grinds in it. And apparently that is an error message that happens quite a bit. Um, that's what was happening with the first machine to the point where the machine just never ground. Like it was always like coffee grounds, coffee grounds, coffee grounds. And so, you know, like Nespresso, they can definitely see like how much coffee I, I buy. And believe me, there is even more coffee in the uh, cabinet that because I can only fit eight, like right, right there. I can only fit eight <laughs> boxes of coffee and those aren't open. No, I think one is open. I think the um, the holiday one, the pecan is, is open, but they see how much coffee I buy. They see that I actually do love this machine. So it, it, they know that I definitely would like to keep her. Um, this base right here that you see, this is for my coffee frother, but I used it this morning. So she is waiting to be washed. Um, but yeah, this is this is basically the machine. And oh my God, it was causing me so, so, so much stress. Like I can't even, because I do like to have my coffee and thank God I kept my Ninja. Um, to make room for the Nespresso, I did get rid of my Keurig um, so that I would have room for this one. And I'm like, this is a way too expensive coffee machine to be like, keep having problems. So I am actually going to put my camera back while I'm filming with my phone, back on the tripod. And I am going to, yeah, bring out the new boo, the new boo in town. So that we can do a quick unboxing because I actually do need a cup, another cup of coffee. Sorry. So here is the replacement that was sent. This is the Nespresso Virtual Plus. I am extremely excited about this one. So this is the model that I have. Um, I've only heard good things about it. Um, I feel like most of the other people that I know who have Nespresso's, this is the Nespresso that they have. The packaging is like 
you know, fairly normal. I feel like, I feel like the other one, the virtual next was packaged. Um, quite similar if, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, you know, quite similar. My main thing was that I wanted a machine that used these same, uh, pods so that I wouldn't have to go like return all of these pods and get new pods. So I am going to do a very, very, very quick um, unboxing. This is the matte black. And then I am going to um, go through a couple of my must-have coffees for the season because I feel like that's always important. The coffee is always important. Okay, so let's get in. This is a pretty big box. Um, and I actually have to put the virtual next in this box and send it back. So I gotta go to the EPS store today. Again, this is the virtual next. It is in the matte black color. It comes packaged like so. So this folds down. It's very well packaged. It has like the styrofoam here. Um, and this is the machine. Oh, she pretty. Uh, I already went in the box. I couldn't help it. So the instruction manuals came. I did take those out and just take a look at them. I don't want to mess anything up back here. But again, it came with another box of 11 capsules. And I'll open this on camera in a second. Um, but we are going to put this bad boy, get this bad boy out of the box and put her up here. So. Oh, the tray is a little different. So here's the tray. The tray is a little different. Um, the virtual next tray, it, I guess it was just a little bit more posh. Um, and again, I did have the black and rose gold. And so I just had to have a black and rose gold. But at this point, I just want something that works, basically. Um, it also has like a bunch of coupons and stuff for you to join. I highly recommend like registering your machine as well as um, like having an espresso account because you do end up getting like free coffee and stuff like that. So I got two free sleeves of coffee um, for every like 10 that I bought. So I ended up with, I think, yeah, like four sleeves of coffee because I had made like a huge purchase all at once. So let me get the box out of the way. And we're gonna come in just a little closer. Oh, she's so pretty. <gasps> oh, let me lower my tripod. Sorry for the shaking, guys. Yeah, right there. So I have the Nespresso. I am hoping that this next works just as well. Matte black, everything. I'm not sure how this opens though. E, I'm not sure how this opens. I think it just. Yo, I don't even know how to open this. How am I supposed to open it? Is it is it like locked or something? Wait a minute. Let me get the instruction manual. Hey guys, okay, so here we are again, and I know I look very different. Um, I believe my hair was different. I know I had on a different outfit. Um, so today I decided to finish up with this unboxing video, which as you can see, I have a, another new Nespresso. Because um, when I first originally filmed, it was the week of Christmas, and I was really looking forward to having the new machine um, for the holidays. Even though it's only just me and the dog and the cat, but I still wanted, you know, like my good cup of coffee in the morning and, you know, try um, some of my favorite roasts and things like that. Okay. Well, that did not go as planned because what ended up happening, especially with that other filming, um, was that I ended up having, well, not having, I called customer service with Nespresso, let them know what was going on with the machine. It ended up being um, like, really weird they sent me a machine and the button didn't work and it's like with these types of machines once you open it you can only press the button like it's not 
a bunch of controls on, you know, these machines. It's just that one, you know, pressing of the button. So customer service mistakenly told me that I could go to the Nespresso Boutique. Here is a fun fact for all of you boys and girls who love Nespresso the way I do. You can't go to the damn boutique. You cannot. If it is a freestanding boutique, then you can go to the boutique and get a uh, replacement for your machine. If it is not a uh, freestanding boutique like the one I go to is located inside of a Bloomingdale's. So that's not considered a freestanding boutique. So I, on Christmas Eve, drove to the boutique, tried to get another machine and lo and behold, they were like, uh, no. So then I not only had one broken machine at my house, I had two broken machines, which, you know, the uh, boutique manager graciously gave me some packaging and some packing things so that I could send both of them back because I was like supposed to swap it out, like take the new one out the box, put the old broken one in the box, send that back. <sighs> My gosh, it was, it was a day. So I managed to send everything back and then they sent me this machine, which is the Nespresso Virtuo. I wanna say this is the second machine to come out in the Virtuo line. Um, which after reading a lot of reviews, speaking to um, like the manager and the assistant manager at the Bloomingdale's Boutique, they let me know, like they swear by this machine to the point where they actually returned the virtual next and they ended up getting this particular uh, virtual. So I have used it. I'm just gonna show you guys the box and everything else. I have been using it. I've had it for maybe two weeks now because it did come after christmas it came like the right before new year's eve um so of course i did go ahead open it unbox it give it a spin thus far i have cleaned it uh once i went through the cleaning you know that is also something that i will also touch on in a quick second um but as you can see the design is a little different to me it still doesn't take up that much space i really actually like it I love the color. I love this red color. Just, it, it it speaks to me. So, here is why I say watch this video before you buy a Nespresso. Because this machine is way, way, way too expensive for the issues that I have had with it. You know, I got my virtual next in September. Um, which is when my birthday is and that's what I wanted you know I wanted a virtual next because it was black and it was rose gold and I had to have it blah 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 whatever but from then that machine brewed one cup of coffee and then it just went kaput they sent me another one that machine lasted for like a month and a half and I really don't use it all the time because I still have my ninja and I still love my ninja and I still utilize it all the time and I'm so happy that I did not get rid of it. Now, what I did get rid of is I got rid of, I did get rid of my Keurig, I did. I am a coffee lover. I usually now have two forms of like coffee machines or whatever, what have you. I also have a pour over set and then I also have a coffee press. I like coffee in this house, okay? But thank God I didn't get rid of my Ninja because I would have been coffee-less. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know what I would have done now. But the one thing I can say about Nespresso, from the boutique to calling customer service minus the staff staffu of having me drive all the way up to the boutique um i will say that they were very very helpful extremely extremely helpful um so i do appreciate that in that respect however the mere fact of the matter that this i think it was the virtual okay the virtual plus and then the virtual next I, I'm sorry, I just think that people are paying way too much money to have the issues that they are having. There is another young lady on YouTube that I was just watching. She literally had her virtual next for like six months and it broke on her. I'm, this machine is like $300. I'm not paying $300 for a machine that's only going to work for, you know, six months. No, absolutely not. So my fingers are crossed with this one. So far, so good. Um, it is a Sunday, so I've decided that Sundays are going to be my cleaning day for this. So I'm going to give this, as well as my Ninja over here, a um, a deep clean and some loving so that it can get itself together and get ready for the new week. Uh, the one thing that I will say is that people have asked me, 
why did you get in the machine? <laughs> why didn't you just get your money back? And I will be honest about it. It was the customer service. Nespresso has the best customer service that I have encountered in years. Years, like hands down, the best customer service. So with that being said, and with them being so gracious, like, you know, just send both of them back. We'll send you a new machine. The machine came very, very quickly, even though, you know, it was the holidays, there was a lot of backups. I got my machine very, very quickly, you know, so it's pros and cons to everything. I mean, the con really is, is that, yeah, this bitch ain't work. It just didn't work. But the pro is, is that the customer service was amazing. Um, and the coffee is really, truly second to none. I still love my pour overs. I still, you know, love, you know, my traditional drips. I still love my coffee press, all those different things. Um, but this Nespresso, it does hold a special place in my heart, which is why, um, yeah, I've been through all of this. And I really like this color. I actually do. I like this color a lot. This red is really, really pretty. Um, and it goes with a lot of the decor in my kitchen. But, I mean, listen, you guys are going to do what you want to do. I just wanted to put this video out there and say, watch this before you buy an espresso. Especially if you get a virtual plus or a virtual next. Please, please do your due diligence and read the reviews, um, which is something that I didn't do, which is unlike me for any purchase, especially a purchase of this amount. Because when I bought it, it was September. It wasn't on sale. I ended up paying like damn near $300 for it, especially because it came with the Arachino, which is the frother. Um, and I absolutely adore that. Like I, I love it. I have used it for cold foam. I've used it for the hot foam. I love it, hands down. It is my favorite. They also have another one that I think I'm going to get. I really do. I think I'm going to get, uh, I think it's a barista or something like that. Something like that. But I'm really going to get it. Um, hopefully this machine will work. Um, I am still trying to decide how I want to do my coffee bar. I have moved my coffee down. I've put cups up here. So, uh, I'm going to be on Pinterest trying to get some inspiration on how I want to style my coffee bar, but I need to also clean out the other corner of this kitchen. So, there's that. But, yeah. So, my, I think this is the Virtuo Evoluo. That's what this is called. I want to say that's what this one is called. It is the second. There's the Virtuo I believe this one is the virtual Evoluo, then it's the virtual plus, then it's the virtual next. The virtual next visually is absolutely stunning, but I am gonna have to tell you to pass on it. If you read any of the reviews, it it's it's it ha, I think on the vir, on the Nespresso site it has like two or three stars out of five or something like that. Like people are trashing it. And to be perfectly honest, after having it, they're telling the truth. The virtual plus. I believe that if you get a specific one, the the long, the longy, the long high, I think that's the one that has the least amount of problems. I think. But again, read the reviews. This one, however, I've four stars and above. Like I've been on the Nespresso site. I've also been on the Bloomingdale site and the Macy site and read the reviews and this one was the one that had the highest reviews and was just like it is absolutely amazing um yeah so I am going to clean these guys and yeah hopefully this helps you with your Nespresso purchase I am also going to have a couple of uh coffee videos uh maybe thumbs up this if you want to see how I am going to style my coffee bar right now it's kind of all over the place so yeah I mean next time I might have on some makeup I can't guarantee you know all right so guys if you love lifestyle and all things beauty and craziness be sure to follow me on instagram and facebook at 